Hi, welcome to Ezayola Online English. There is something I want us to consider today in our tutorials. I overheard someone some time ago. It was a question actually, what's your name? You know, the question came to the person, what's your name? And the person answered, my names are so and so. My names are whatever he said his names. I became confused because you often hear people say that my names are John, Michael, whatever. Okay. Maybe the names are three juxtaposition of three names. Okay. John, Michael, whatever. Obina, Shima, whatever. All right. And because of that, you hear them say, my names are, before they mention the names, juxtaposed like that, maybe three, four, and so on. Okay? Now, the question is, is it right to say my names are, you mentioned the names? Or is it better to say my name is, you still mention the names? Maybe you have one, two, three, your surname your first name, your middle name, things like that. We need to consider that so that we possibly clear some confusion or doubt out there, okay? Now, look at the board. Francis, you can see. We have Ubiemeka, okay? We have Anna Yochuku. We have Ezayola. Then we have Ezedi, we're here. Now, take note of this. Friends in the church where I worship God, they call me Francis, Mr. Francis. That's what they call me in the church. There are people that call me Francis, okay? Then, Ubiemeka is a native name. This is given to me by my grandmother. She calls me Ubiemeka. That's the name she calls me. She doesn't know of Francis. Whenever I am around, she addresses me as Ubiemeka. That's what my grandmom calls me, okay? Then we have Anayochuku. This is my name, originally given to me by my parents, biological parents. My mom, my father, they call me Anayochuku. Then this is Ezayola. This is my name equally, okay? Friends call me Ezayola. That's why we have the Ezayola online English. <laughs> you can understand that. Then this is my surname, Ezedigwe. Okay? Now, if you take a close look at these names, we have one, two, three, four, five. Five different names called by different people. Okay? Friends in the church, they address me this way. Um, this is my mother, grandmom, like I told you, calls me this. This one, my parents. And this is for friends, all right? While this is my surname. Now, it wouldn't be wrong to say, these are my names. My names are one, two, three, four, five. As different people call me, all right? I might tell someone, these are my names. My names are this, 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 five of them, you can see, called by different people, okay? That doesn't mean that when someone comes to ask, what's your name, you begin to say, my names are, no. What's your name as a person, as an entity, all right? What's the name you bear? I bear Ezediwe, which is my surname, Ezediwe. Then we have Anayochuku. This is the name given to me by my parents. And this is my middle name. Now we have Ezediwe, Anayochuku Francis. This is my name. My name is made up of one, two, three. All right? So you shouldn't say, my names are this, this, and this. No. Rather, my name is Ezediwe here, Anayochuku Francis. These 
three names, although three names, but they make up my single name. I am addressed as Ezedigwe Anayochuku Francis. That's when I will respond. But adventure, someone comes to say, who is Ezedigwe? I might be confused because there could be people gathered together bearing Ezedigwe, okay? But when the person says, I am looking for Ezedigwe Anayochuku Francis, that's when I will have to present myself because it shows I am the definite person, the particular individual, whoever might be looking for, okay? So this is the name that make up my own name, all right? The names that make up my own name, all right? Until I hear Ezedigwe Anayochuku Francis, probably it is not myself. So this makes up the name I bear. So my name is Ezedigwe Anayochuku Francis, not my names are whatever. Did you get this? Thank you very much. Correct your expression.